Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with Mech Tech Keyboards and just bringing you a quick little video today. I've been busy organizing my space to make everything a little bit more efficient uh, between workspace and film space and storage. So that's why I haven't been able to output as many videos. I, I do have a queue, a, a fairly long queue of videos I just need to edit um, and post -pro produce to and push to production, but I want to get my working space in order first. And I, I am working on a series, uh, hopefully it'd be weekly or bi-weekly, where I will have a particular topic, I'll do a live stream, I'll work maybe on a project or a board, but I'll answer questions based on the topic, or even off-topic questions. Um, I want to kind of help out, you know, and be able to answer questions live, and actually, you know, since I have a fairly decent sized collection, I'll be able to actually grab that board and answer questions specific to kits. So I'm hoping to get this together in the next couple of weeks. But once I have more, I will post up about it. Now today, I just wanted to take a quick look. I'm going to do more of an in-depth view on these two. Uh, these are two of several choices that are available. These are macro pads that are they're available from Keyboard Monkey, but Drop is also reselling them. They are actually... I. I I was quite surprised Keep Monkey actually sent them to me. I did not ask. They just sent them to me and they didn't request a video review, nothing like that. Um, I helped them out with a couple of things. I think it was more of a gratitude thing, but these are Megalodons is the brand. Um, they are all VIA compatible. They're supposed to be QMK, but I have not yet seen, uh, they're not in the branch and I haven't seen a GitHub repository for it. their actual source files. Now, this one actually comes with these two huge Otemu uh, clickies. Now, they, as far as I know, they don't come out. I have not opened it up. I will do that once I do a more in-depth video, because uh, I would actually just like to lube it. I mean, because I mean, it's blue, it's clicky. That's fine. Um, I like that it has. I don't know if you guys can see this, but these two button caps. One has a O, one has an X. You know, so you can kind of distinguish. Um, I do actually plan to. I'm going to probably either program one of these two to uh, work or control the lights inside of my studio so I can use this to fade in, fade out, and maybe change the color, hues, and tones using these keys. But just to give you a quick example, like this one, all right, it has the uh, connector on the back. Um, I've only just plugged them in and messed with them for a minute. So this one I just wanted to, to show. It really has some pretty cool... Um, light effects you can do per key uh, LED uh, using Q QMK, but that's the whole thing. So right now, the only thing I've been able to do is with VIA is set buttons and modifiers to be able to change, you know, cycle through the RGB effects. Um, but like I said, uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out where the QMK um, source branch is. So, but now this one comes with the two big buttons down at the bottom, but the, uh, the rest of these, uh, now they do not come with these tops. Uh, these are from my own collection of just uh, some blank cherries that I have. R2 cherries, I think. I, don't, I forget. But um, so these do come with hot swap sockets, so you can throw in um, your own switches because they do not come with. Like I said, these are the only two buttons, uh, switches and buttons that come. These come like that, padding in there, and it does have five-pin compatibility. So. Excuse me. So this is, and it's it's actually, because it's made out of, uh, I want to say it's CNC, but I could be wrong. I did actually drop it and ding it. That was my bad. Um, and it has a nice translucent layer on the bottom. And as you can see, it also has uh, downward firing LEDs. So, I mean, you can see that you could actually, I mean, if you put it on your desk, it could make for a very nice clean addition. And, you know, obviously you can, you know, end up using whatever keys that you'd like that would match, you know, your existing style or whatever. But I was actually quite impressed. Like I said, I'm probably going to do this one. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Actually, I might uh, give one to my kid and program it for his lights um, because he's always talked about that. But anyway, this is the other one. This is the four button with the, um, this is a push button encoder. This one actually has the USB-C on either port. So 
it gives you the ability. Now this one I want to mount. Uh, I have not. Oh, no, I guess I did. See, so it's allowing me to go through and change the hues. And there's the effects. Like I said I haven't really messed with them too long, too much in Via. The Via files are available from wiki.keepmonkey.com. Um, in case you were wondering, I know a lot of people. Uh, we're, we're, we're planning on budget cubes. We're planning on starting a wiki and having basically our own uh, repository of files and manuals for all the budget keyboards because, you know, just to have a safe space where to get them from and not have to go searching the internet and wondering if this, you know, is the right, right file for the right model and so on. So, you know, you do have, like I said, your, your volume control. It's out of the box volume, but it can be set up to anything else. I plan to uh, set up some macros so that I can talk through IoT to my Philips smart bulbs. I should be able to do it. it should be just a matter of a script to send a signal, but I got to look into it. Um, and then maybe using these for changing the colors. So um, these do come with the caps, and they come with. Oh, I haven't even popped these off yet. Oh. Those are milky yellows. Not bad. I was actually kind of surprised. Now, I'm not sure if this one is hot swap or not, and I don't want to start digging into it. It looks like it is. I'm going to guess that it probably is. But again, these are another one. This one has the down firing as well. It has this nice little translucent. And again, like I said, it can be hooked up from either side. So if you want the volume on the bottom or, um, I mean, honestly, these are be perfect for mounting. I almost want to maybe uh, open up my CAD program and 3D print me a nice little uh, latch system so I can mount it like on the front of a desk or something. Um, but it's pretty cool. I uh, honestly, I from the pictures, I was like, Meh. I thought about it, but now that I've seen them, I'd actually probably buy my own. Now that I've actually seen it, I'm a big fan of macro pads. Um, I've been playing around with this one for a while. Um, it's in the middle of being programmed right now. This is the, the um, Adafruit RP2040 uh, macro pad. Um, and I had more plans for, I mean, I've got plans. I've been playing around with it. I'm just, because I want to do some really cool things with the screen and I've just haven't had the time to get there. But anyway, so I just wanted to give a quick review of these two pads from a company, um, Megalodon, do Megala, yeah. When this one fell, it took some scratches. It did not come like this. This was my fault. But uh, it, they're from a Megalodons is the company. But these are, you know, quite well made. Like I said, I'm not sure if they're CNC'd or if they're just poured. Yeah, this one kind of looks like it's CNC'd, to be honest with you. But they're both of good quality. Um, the plates on them look really nice. I mean, with the gold trim, I'm not sure if they're FR4 plates. Usually when they have that gold trim there, FR4 plates. But... If you're in the market for a macro pad that's programmable to do, you know, you can program, a, you know, the keys or put in a macro. So one button will do, you know, a set of functions or, you know, call numerous different commands, what have you. Um, these are quite well made. They're not plastic. They're not acrylic. So if you're looking for a little thing, you know, something a little bit more substantial and something to look nice and clean on your setup, um, I do know they both come in different colors I actually prefer this gunmetal type I mean this one's a little bit lighter but I do like both of them this one's a silver this one's more like a gunmetal but they're very nice uh, they feel quite well made now granted you're gonna have to take these feet off but these are I mean you can buy packages of these feet on Amazon for like two bucks three bucks so I doubt that's gonna be an issue uh, coming back in uh, so but I will probably um, especially if you guys put down in the comments, I can do a tear down of these and see what's in there. But I plan to probably do it anyway. So anyway, these are available uh, at Keep Monkey and Drop. And I've, I don't have the prices on hand. There are about eight different versions of these, but uh, they're quite well made, and I'm I'm impressed. Like I said, I I looked at them. I was kind of interested, but I wasn't sure. Like, oh, uh, they look nice, but they might just feel kind of not substantial and you'll hear me use that word a lot something that's substantial something that's got weight and girth and it feels like you know doesn't feel like a toy I prefer that over anything else so that's one of the reasons I 
truly enjoy adding the the, the butyl rubber or uh, silicone pores to kits or the bicycle weights or wheel weights because it adds that much more heft to a keyboard. It makes it feel less like a toy and more like a tool. So anyway, that was the video for today. I will be updating you guys on the uh, the live stream that I plan to be doing on a regular basis. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have a I'm gonna try, I'm still trying to set up a format so that I can cover stuff, but also, you know, not get too too boring. If that makes any sense. Anyway, I hope you guys like my videos. I really appreciate. It. I just hit 300 subscribers, and that's awesome. I've never once asked anyone, you know, to hit like or subscribe. You do what you do. Um, but so I, I'm appreciative of every single one of you guys that have subscribed to my channel. Uh, I'm just another human being. I'm not perfect. Please call me out. If I say anything incorrect or wrong, feel free to correct me. I, we all learn from, you know, our mistakes. And uh, I, for one, have taken that. So I hope that I'm putting out content that you guys enjoy. If there's more that you guys want to see, let me know. I will add it to my to-do list. It is long, and I will eventually get to them. I promise, because I do enjoy this. This hobby really helps me to kind of focus and de-stress, and, and I mean, it's just it's just me and a keyboard, and I enjoy it. So, until the next time, keep calm and keyboard on. Or as a redditor actually suggested, and I'm still kind of chewing on it. Keep calm and keep on. I don't know. Anyway, guys, have a great weekend. Much love. Peace.